Hey everyone, I'm Gunnix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity C Sharp tutorial here on the channel. So I've made tutorials before on how to randomize menu background images in Unity, how to randomize AI destinations in Unity, and in my updated basic horror game Unity tutorial series, I showed how to randomize the positions of the switches used in the second level. But in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics on how random.range is used, since that's what we use whenever randomizing things in Unity, like in the tutorials of mine I mentioned before, and hopefully after watching this tutorial you will come away with a better understanding of random.range and how it's used so you can randomize various things of your own, whether it be random voice lines spoken by characters or randomizing what objects appear in levels, etc. I want to make more tutorials like this in the future perhaps, where I teach you all how certain specific things in Unity work, or at least how I use it and what I know about it, including Unity C Sharp related stuff like I'm doing today. An example of a future tutorial like this could be one where I talk about the on trigger enter, on trigger stay, and on trigger exit voids. So if you are interested in tutorials like this, which go into the more smaller specific things, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so let's say for example you have four cubes and you want to make a script that only sets one of them active at the start of the scene. You don't care which one is set active, you want it to be randomized. So what we're going to do is we're going to create and open up a C Sharp script and get rid of most of this starter stuff so you have a clean slate. Next we'll be typing out an int variable which will be used to hold the randomized number. It doesn't matter what this variable is called, just make sure its variable type is a number related one like int. So for this example as I mentioned we want to randomize one of four cubes to spawn at the start of the scene. So we'll need to make use of the start void in this example. I just do want to mention by the way that random.range can be used in pretty much any kind of void including void update, void on trigger enter, on trigger exit, you name it, including coroutines too. So here in our start void you'll want to type what I'm typing. Type the name of your int variable that will hold the random number equals random.range and then any two numbers you want in these brackets. Since I'm randomizing four cubes for this example my range will be 0 to 4. I just do want to mention as well that the last number you want your range to go up to will never actually be selected. So if you have your range as 0 to 9 for example, only 0 to 8 can actually be picked. So do keep that in mind. And with this random dot range, since the range is 0 to 4, the number 0 to 3 will have a chance of being picked. The higher the range of numbers, the less there is a chance of something happening. If you wanted a secret jump scare that is rare to come by in your game for example, you could set the random.range amount as 0 to 100 and have a 1 in 100 chance of a random jump scare happening. Anyways, continuing on with this, after typing that, go down the line and this is where we'll be typing if our random number equals to 0, the first cube will be set active to true. And then we'll just copy and paste that code three times underneath and change these values so the other cubes can be set active as well if their designated random number has been selected from the random range of numbers. And so there we go, now we've wrote out a script to randomize one of four cubes being set active at the start of a scene. Now I'm going to go apply this into the scene and see how it works. Alright, and there we go, a random cube is being selected. Also, if you want to make it so there's a chance of no cube being set active at all, just increase the range of your random range so that if a number other than the ones that spawn a cube is selected, no cube will spawn. Anyways guys, that's the end of today's video, just talking about the basics of random.range in Unity and how it can be used in C Sharp. Just do keep in mind, of course, that this is just what I know about it. There could be some extra details that I may have missed, you know, just some more, you know, just extra details. This was just pretty much like the basics of it. So if you do have any extra stuff that you'd like to share, be sure to comment it down below. And if you have any other thoughts or feedback, be sure to share that down in the comments below as well. I hope this video was easy for you guys to understand, if you do enjoy or found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more like this in the future, and I'll see you all next time, Bye bye